Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn to use MySQL MCP server with the Cloud Desktop. So let's begin. Before we start, if you don't know about the MCP, so MCP is basically a model contest protocol and this protocol provides a standardized way to connect A models to a different data sources and tools. For this particular tutorial, I am using an MCP server by Execute Automation. So this is a URL github.com slash execute automation slash mcp dash database dash server you need to scroll down here and just go down here to a section where you will get direct usage configuration and here you see that the configuration is available for sqlite sql server postgres mysql so for this particular tutorial we will be using the configuration for mysql from here and in this configuration basically we need to provide the host we need to provide the database name, the port, the user, and the password. Okay, so copy this one from here. And also, what you need to do is that you need to go to the cloud website and you need to download the cloud desktop. Once you have downloaded and installed that one, you need to sign up and log in into the cloud desktop application. Okay, now just open the cloud application, the desktop one. Go to this uh, hamburger, click on this one, go to the file go to the settings go to the developer click on edit config this is the configuration file double click on this one to open this one and paste complete configuration and here obviously we don't need the other configurations right now so remove these configurations from here and here what you need to do is that you need to provide the information about your database so right now what I'm doing is that I'm using my database or locally using MySQL Workbench. So it is hosted locally over here and this is my database with the name bank and all these other tables available in this particular database. Okay. So simply uh, let's go back and provide the configuration. So here you need to provide. So I'm using localhost. Now here my database name is bank the port is 3306 already and here i need to provide the username and password okay and once you have done with this simply save this one and close the configuration file and now go back to the cloud go to again hamburger go to the file click on exit and once exit again open the cloud and now it should be able to access my local database but before that we need to confirm this go to hamburger again go to file go to settings go to developer and here you see that mysql is up and running okay now uh, we need to go to file new conversation and if i click on search and tools now you see that mysql tools are available over here okay and if i go back here so my this particular database contains a table called company and also contains a table established so if i execute this one so we'll get this data over here so this basically we are using a select command to fetch all the records from the company table now just go to the cloud and instead of writing a query what i'll do is that i will say Fetch all records. Fetch all records from company table. And press enter. And it will ask for the permissions in some cases. Some cases it doesn't ask for permission. It uh, asks for the permission, just provide the permissions. Now you see that it fetched the records from that particular table. Okay. Now what I'll say that update. Instead of you know writing the query, I'm just giving a prompt over here. Okay, so update number of employees to hundred from fifty and company name is tech soft. Okay, 
and run this one and see what happens. So I'll update the text of record as 15 employees to have this one. Now text of entry that previously had 15 employees has been updated to 100. So if I go back to the database over here and again it says 50 and if I run this query again so you see that it executed that one and now the employees are 100 okay so it's just an update query right now uh, go back again and what I'll say um, add new company name uh, name it as testing panda and number of employees are 150 okay so let's run this one and see what happens over here so it's, you know you see that it's actually executing a query and now you see that I'll add a new company record with name of testing funda and employees 150 and if I click on this one you see that it's executing a query row of factors are 1 and if I go back to the database over here and run this one you see that the new company testing fund is added with 150 points now what I will do is that simply ask delete testing fund record okay and press enter and I see what happens so it will actually perform a delete operation and if I go back to my database and if I execute this one now you see that the testing funder record has been removed and and if you observe one thing here is that I'm just providing the prompts and the rest is done by the cloud itself and it's actually using the tools provided by the MCP server and if you click on any of this so you see that actually it's performing the queries but you are not writing these queries you are just giving a prompt over here and if I go back here and again run this one so it has a name column and we have this table called established and here again we have the same column so what I will do is that in the real time testing what we do is that we perform joins right so let's see if it is able to perform joins on these two tables or not join table company with established so let me copy this one from here go back here and common column is name so i'm just providing some information writing some prompt for this one so you see that it's reading this one reading this one so you see that it's actually writing a join over here right so after join we get this particular table now based on this join i will say uh and i need to upgrade my plane but what you can do is that you can simply give the prompts are these joins or simple queries or aggregate functions any kind of uh, queries just need to prompt and what it will do is that it will perform those actions you don't need to write a query itself so that's how you can work with the mysql mcp server